that there's so much experience amongst the fellow judges. It's important that we all recognize how we work together to identify the best of class. There is nothing more important than supporting the next generation. Our generation has done its time. It's now the next generation that has to be supported. Uh, delighted to be here today to support the Asian Apprenticeship Awards. I'm really passionate about open up access to opportunity. So for education and employability in particular, I think this is absolutely critical to be able to do that, to help promote awareness um, that the apprenticeship route is equally valid to higher education. I think there's no one set rule for, for everybody. And I think in the, certainly in the Asian culture, it's never been as valued as highly as being a graduate. But I think if the UK economy is going to improve, then we need to get as many people of youth um, into apprenticeships. And, and I think but what's important, in order to encourage people to become apprenticeships, they need to inspire to become one. Uh, the organisation that's putting the, uh, the event together, I've known them for some considerable while, and uh, they do some fantastic work in the apprenticeship arena. And I think that was the principal guiding principle I had as to why I would support this. Uh, the team behind it is superb. Uh, they understand why they're doing it. And, and, and I think we need these kind of organisations to encourage people with skills, upskilling, importantly to create employment and then to help ultimately the region of the UK. And obviously, you know, I realise how much of a key role the Asian community has to the country and the wider business economy. Um, I understand that apprenticeships are a very important factor for um, business. So there's a lot of un unemployment, especially in you know, the East London area for the Bangladeshi community or the Pakistani community in Birmingham, etc., um, which can easily be addressed by apprenticeships um, by enabling people to, um, to discover new trades and professions um, and also for co companies to you know, give back to their community is a great incentive. I would say that the Asian Apprenticeship Awards are a fantastic idea. I'm very proud to be involved in these awards and I think there's a real need for an award ceremony to recognise youngsters within our Asian communities that are choosing the path less trodden, certainly for our community, which is um, an apprenticeship path, and working with some really big uh, national and international companies to forge their careers within, the, within those and, and, and work their ways up. A lot of parents and a lot of, you know, family unit is very academic and we have to remember that many of the youngsters in our community don't have the same skill set. They're not all from that academic background. So when I heard that these awards were being set up, I was very proud to be involved because I think we really need to showcase that apprenticeships are a really good opportunity for young people in our communities to enter the workforce, to earn while they learn, and to get some really good mentors and sort of excel in their chosen career path. I think it's a great initiative, something that I is closer to my heart. I think Safraz and his team have done great to put this together. It's a sensitive area, many people will not touch it. Um, it's something which challenges the norm because normally you'll find people looking at university careers, uh, as in a career that will prolong follow from university. Having apprenticeship is, is what's the need of the time, especially in this global climate that we have, where there's crunch in the economies and there's a lot of cuts in jobs. If you're taking 10 years to educate and train yourself at a, at a high cost of debt, uh, and then try to enter the job market where there's very few opportunities, a lot of people are out of business. Apprenticeship is another way. There are different strategies for that, but apprenticeship is a way. You can become a chartered accountant, a lawyer, through apprenticeships. So I think it's a great initiative. I think what, what the Asian Apprenticeship Awards has highlighted and there's a need for is that in this country, Asian communities are in the minority of entering apprenticeships. By highlighting the good apprenticeships, good training providers who train Asian apprentices, employers that employ Asian apprentices and for Asian apprentices themselves it's a positive and all it can do is good. I think it's a fantastic idea, it's um, recognising the underrepresented groups in the BME community and to promote BME to employers taking apprenticeships. The Asian Apprenticeship Awards, as I understand it, is, uh, is trying to help the Asian community get involved and get rid of the stigma surrounding uh, apprenticeships. Uh, don't really understand why there should be a stigma because um, there is no race barrier in apprenticeships. It's, it's a, it's, apprenticeships are for everybody and in, in all disciplines, uh, all industrial sectors. So I really here, want to get involved in order to help the Asian community understand apprenticeships and see the great value that they can bring. It's a privilege to be the ambassador for the Asian Apprenticeship Awards 2016. 
It's great to see so many of you that were nominated and good luck to those who were shortlisted.